Hi everybody, this is Christine Bertram and I'm coming to you live from the Hive here in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. We're here for an amazing class. It's called Them Bones and it features four Halloween cards that, oh, and that's exactly what I was gonna go grab was my DSP sampler book to show you the designer series paper. And of course, <laughs> my dad always said, and that was from another generation, my great grandma always would say, if you don't have it in the head, you have to have it in your legs. Meaning if you don't have it up here to remember, you're gonna have to take extra steps to go back. So when I have to get up to get something, I'll go grab the DSP sampler book. But with that being said, we have an amazing class using the Bag of Bones bundle and then the designer paper that goes with it and the glow in the dark bats and ghosts and some glow in the dark paper. And it will be a good one, you guys. So don't forget to hit the thumbs up for the video, if my you don't okay. mind, there's everybody. I got my volume turned off as well, so that I won't be buzzing. Uh, Tyler already called, so he shouldn't be calling while I'm in the middle of class. <laughs> he told me to take some salmon out of the freezer, and so we can eat some healthy dinner tonight. <laughs> so that's what our plan is, to make some fish after class. So, all right, you guys, I see lots of you already here. We have Sarah Merchant. Hi, Penny Powell. There's Lisa Sharkey and Susan Bellamy. Hi, Francis. Hi, Linda Hunt. Linda, I got your money for the Wounded Warrior and the Fun Fold. So I did see that come through while I was on the way to the post office because I literally got back from the post office at 20 minutes to six. <laughs> and then it was feed the kittens, feed myself something, and then put some makeup on. <laughs> so I'm a little bit tardy, you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, but I did get ink, paper, scissors out and some translucent florals to people. So that's what mom and I worked on getting out in the mail this afternoon. Yay. Hi, Debbie Gast. And there's Barbara Rudolph. Hi, Vicki Eakins. Um, there's Laura Sullivan and Cindy Runtree. You guys, I did get my warning that I would be there in two minutes. Yay. Hi, Lynn Beasley. Hi, Susan Ray Hendricks. Thanks for liking and sharing. I appreciate it. Hi, Vicki Rodriguez. There's Ann Bellinger. Hi, Sharon Land. There's Rose Coleman. Yay. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Oh, man. So good. Hi, Deanna Stell. There's Randy. Um, Hi, Donna. Hi, Pauline. Hi, Angel. Hi. Oh, who else do we have? Hi, Donna Gruski. You guys, lots of people rocking and rolling right in. I love it. Hi, Mary Ann. There's Sherry Martin. Sherry Martin had a good reminder call for me today. <laughs> I love it when she calls and checks in on me. <laughs> Hi, Sharon Roosh. Hi, Linda Custer. Oh, man, you guys. Karen Stagg is here as well. Hi, Jean Terwilliger. So, yay, Jean. I'm happy that you had a great trip, a hunting trip. And um, I haven't responded to your email, but I did read it. <laughs> but like, oh, I got to... I like to do when I, I respond. Sometimes you guys... When I have emails that I'd like to write back a little bit more, I like to do them as a voice to text on my phone. And so a little secret is that I don't have to type it then, which is awesome. <laughs> so you guys, I did put the cats in the house just now. They were out here all day and they slept all day. And so I just fed them and I thought to myself, if I have them out here, they're going to be all over the place, rambunctious all over. So you guys, no cats. So if you're looking for the kittens in the background, you're not going to see them. Um, they are all um, terrorizing the house, I'm sure. <laughs> so, all right. So I have a great class for you guys. We had 17 people here last night, you guys. There are only 16 chairs in the hive and we had to pull in one of my picnic time chairs and somebody sat, um, Karen forward sat in the middle uh, and two people actually didn't make it. We would have had 19 people for this class in person. Um, and look at me with my darling earrings. Did you guys notice for the Halloween class what I did? I won't wear my rings all night because they will be in the way for stamping. But when you guys see my hands drop down or the camera drop down and see my hands, you'll see I have my Halloween costume jewelry on. Oh, I'll bless the kitties. Yes. Well, they got some good food and now they're going to be um, running all over the place. So you guys, I thought to myself, it's really weird to put on Halloween jewelry because it's only September 28th and Halloween is a month away yet. But the way things worked out is this class ended up being in late September versus in late October. I think if we pushed it out to late October, that this way, the cards would be late for you guys to send out. This way, by doing them a month in advance, you guys have time to make them and then you can get them out to your loved ones um, or hoard them or collect them or keep them forever, however you choose. Um, but you have plenty of time to make them before Halloween. Uh, I remember doing classes in the past and the Halloween class was two days before Halloween and, and everybody loved the cards, but they're like, well, it's too late to mail them. And I'm like, 
oh, all right, well, that makes sense. And so, so that's why we do the Halloween class here a little bit earlier. Hi, Sharon Land. Hey, I have my Snoopy Woodstock on. I love it. I love it. You're getting a cat wheel tomorrow. Awesome, Zana. I would like to hear that. Um, send me a picture of your cats going around on the wheel. Uh, and it said T, or your Snoopy Woodstock T on. Awesome. You guys, I have my, uh, in case you're wondering, my Mount Rainier shirt on. My pretty purple Mount Rainier shirt. Oh, it's actually pink. It used to be more purple, but I think after washing it so much, it turned a little pink. Um, got that on my first incentive trip uh, that I earned was going out of Seattle, going to Alaska back in 2018. And it was my mom and my dad. And at the time, actually, you guys, a little side story, my ex-boyfriend went with me. Uh, yes, we broke up <laughs> after the registration was made uh, and before the trip happened. <laughs> um, hi, Carmen Melendez. And uh, uh, we were civil and friends. And it worked because I'm an adult and he's an adult. And we said, okay, uh, well, we're still going to go on this trip together. And uh, yeah, uh, it worked out okay. Uh, we had no problem. He thought he was going to um, get back together with me. And, and in my head, I knew it was done. <laughs> so, But that was that trip, you guys. A little side story if you didn't know that. Um, so yeah, so that was, uh, my, we took my mom, my dad, my ex-boyfriend, and I, we took a bus trip to Mount Rainier. Yay. <laughs> So awesome. All right. I had my phone in my hands because I have Rose. So Rose is not going to be able to be on for, she's going to be in and out. You guys, she has other things going on with her team. Uh, but uh, she did reach out to me and tell me she has two amazing gals taking the class with her, Gail Stefan and Annie Simon. Uh, and she has four kits left. So this is the class that Rose Coleman and I collaborate on. And she kits up for those in Canada and I kit up for those in the US. And if you are in Canada watching this right now and you want this class after you get started watching and you're like, oh man, these cards are so awesome. I would love to get these kits. Don't hesitate, like drop the phone and uh, call Rose right away um, or email her right away. Uh, I did add in the description of the video, this YouTube video, you can find all of her contact information. You can also find my contact information if you're newer to watching me and you don't have that yet. When I drop my camera down, I'll also have my information. And so uh, <laughs> it's a great story, yeah. <laughs> yep. I don't talk to him so much anymore. We stayed in contact for about a year after we broke up, but you know, it's hard to stay. Like when you start dating the new guy, right my new boyfriend was Tyler uh, who I'm still with after it's been we've been dating now for five and a half years uh, so if you do the math I was already dating Tyler <laughs> like Travis and I broke up and uh, Tyler and I started dating about two weeks later and yes that seems very fast but you guys Tyler was one of my best friends and still continues to be my best friend since 2009 and so all through the years so I don't know how many years that is but we've been friends for that many years and he dated other people and I dated other people. And then when Travis and I broke up, he was like, I would like to have uh, my a chance to date you. <laughs> and so, and then it's not like we have never stopped dating since. And so, and so, yeah, so if you do the math, you guys, I had already started to see Tyler. Uh, and so I knew in my head, the relationship with my ex-boyfriend was done and uh, poor Travis didn't know that. <laughs> so yes, but all's good. So yeah, so if you guys, back to Rose, if you are in Canada, reach out to Rose. Um, she's your girl in Canada to get these kits from. You're gonna love them. Once we get going, you're gonna see how much fun it is to make them. Uh, the gals here, we had 17 people. We started at 6 p.m., you guys, and we were done with the cards. Everybody was done with them by about 8.15 to 8.30, yeah. So a lot of the die cutting, all the prep work is done for you guys. All you need to have are stamps, ink, and adhesives to put your cards together. And we'll go through that here momentarily. Um, but I want to do roll call on my end. You guys, when I do my YouTube live, <laughs> yes, and Sana has met Tyler, so she knows all about Tyler. He is lovely. Um, and uh, uh, we get along amazingly well because we were friends um, before. So you know they say that that saying is build a really good foundation and the fire will uh smolder and go longer um, and it won't burn out so fast and so that's what we are beneficial that we have that foundation so um so you guys i do my youtube lives anybody can watch them for free i do still get this question do i have to pay to watch your your lives nope you never have to pay but know that i do kit up for um almost every youtube live i do there's a uh, usually cards involved um unless it's mystery card night or share create inspire those i teach the class but you guys use your own products at home and so when 
Um, when I do a kitted up class, if you want the kits, there's a cost to them. Or if you want these from Rose, there's a cost to have them mailed to you and prepared for you. And, uh, um, and so this class is generally geared to those people that, uh, that pay for the kits, um, either by paying for them uh, with cash money or like electronically, right? Or um, buying product from us to get the class for free. And so, yes, Laura's met Tyler too. Uh, so uh, I want to say a special thank you and call out. I do roll call just to um, say a big thank you to all these lovely ladies who have taken this class with me. I couldn't do the lives. I mean, I could do the lives, but they wouldn't be as much fun if I didn't have um, my class attendees taking them with me and everybody else that watches too. You guys are amazing. Um, I always love to help and inspire and share with you as much as I can. And so uh, we're going to do roll call though really quick. So, whoo, you guys. So <clears throat> before I left for my trip to Maryland, I only had about 20 people signed up for this class, which was back in the beginning of September maybe like 10 people in person. So that's 30, you guys. And I thought 60 would be a magic number. And after all my helpers did all their work and came back, I finally went back through my phone and got caught up on my emails. And I accidentally had signed up more people than what we had prepared for. And so we were at 64. So I'm like, let's make 72 just to be safe. And so all of a sudden, 72 come and go. And I forgot to save a set of cards for myself for tonight's class, you guys. And so I'm like, well, if I'm going to make one <laughs> for myself, I'm making at least four to eight more. And in the interim, I had more people sign up and ask for the class. And so I was like, okay, we're going to make eight more. So Annette Rollin came. I die cut everything. I think on Monday morning, somehow I squeezed in some like prep work for eight more. And that came and helped me kit them. And we got eight more made. And you guys, the final magic number was 80. Okay. I am blown away, like blown away that so many people are taking this class. Um, and it's awesome. I, I was talking to the gals who I do class with back when I was still in my living room doing classes. And I remember having a Halloween class and we only had like 10 people um, between two different class times. To have 80 over three different class times is amazing, you guys. So it's awesome. Um, oh, Jean said that Mark and I were best friends and you started dating and we will be started. Yay, 29th year of anniversary on October 1st. Happy anniversary. And Tyler has also met Jean. Yay. <laughs> oh, thanks, Christy. <laughs> All right. So you guys roll call. All right. So I'm warning you, it's a long list of names, um, but we're going to get through it lickety split like normal. All right. So we have Jenna Helms, Pauline Driscoll, Angela Knutson, Karen Woods, uh, Jeannie Parker, Shirley Malarkey, Sarah Merchant, Sherry Everett, Vicki Helms, Judy Sharp, Sandy Wicklander, uh, Marge Heiss, Leslie Wheeler, Barbara Rudolph, Sharon Land, Becky Gandolfo, Deanna Stell, Francis Rodriguez, Linda Scott, Susan Ray Hendricks, Feline Mays, Vicki Rodriguez, Linda Hunt, Leslie McMinn, uh, Sandy Gorin, Doral Hoffaker, Elaine Rebeck, Maggie Cooper, Sharon Davis, Joanne Kahn, Sarah Mitchell, Lynn Beasley, Debbie Gast, Lori Baxter, Patsy Roberts, Vicki Eakins, Carol Selinski, Millie Kindle, Jody Storman, Dawn Ablett, Alan Brover, Carla Lake, Christy Wiltshire, Helen Chase, Pat Fleming, Laura Sullivan. <laughs> Laura Sullivan. I like to say your name twice in case you don't hear it the first time, my friend. Jennifer Summers, Tammy Steckling, Mary Lemke, Donna Gruski, Karen Forward, Maggie Cooper, Connie Moore, Lisa LaFramboy, Gail Kane, uh, Christina. Oh, ha, that's me, Christine Bertram. Ha ha, I put myself down. I'm like, I wouldn't say my name. So I assumed it was Christina Bernards, but it's not. It's me, Christine Bertram, yay. Um, Amy Ponce, Lori Kaiser, Elisa Sharkey, and last but certainly not least was Nona Hope, you guys. So I think, Karen Stake, you might have reached out to me in an email. I like glanced over my email really quick and you were asking if there's any of them bones left. There, you guys, there are none left. They're all completely gone. I don't want to kit up any more um, of them bones. Not because I don't want to, but just because we're already onto fun folds, you guys. And I'm still in the process of designing <laughs> for October. So I need to like focus on other things now um, and not kidding a class that now is behind us. So we had 24 people who placed orders to get this class for free, and I will be doing a drawing, a drawing later for somebody to win a door prize from me. So, yay. 
All right, so I do have some happy mail with you guys. A lot of you guys are here. Uh, big shout out, Karen Wetstein is here. Hello, Karen helped um, cut all of your DSP, you guys, um, for this for this class here in the States. Um, Anna and Tammy and Rhonda helped big time. Karen Forward helped big time with getting the kits and everything ready. Annette Rollin came back and helped me do more kidding. Julie Bierschbach helped me, you guys. It was a team of uh, helpers here. Teamwork makes the dream work. So um, the other thing I want to... Are you ready for the, the, bling, the bling, you guys? <laughs> so these are my Halloween um, costume jewels that I wear when I dress up for Halloween. I have my red beady eye bat and then my big bad spider so yeah so th as soon as i start stamping i'll take them off but um you guys so i want to remind you we had share create inspire last week it feels like already so long ago it feels like two weeks ago but it was just last week um uh, the 20th and i have six people that i logged that made my mystery card uh, not my mystery card the share create inspire that's susan Curcello. so we will do a drawing there was somebody who posted a non card that wasn't the same format you guys so I actually just removed it because it wasn't the same layout I was trying to keep it all with the same layout so uh so that is what we'll do later but I have some happy mail you guys um to share with you really quick um we have this is from Cindy Runtree um she actually cut the triangles and then left space here you guys well, actually, I probably think she probably left space and then cut the edges off um, where you've been seeing a lot of the DSP down and then the strips of paper glued down. But this is another version of it. Um, so that one is from Cindy Bruntree. Very pretty. The Delightfully Eclectic. Um, all right. And then this one, month of September, we made all of the August kits. Faye. Yes. So Don, I talked to Faye today to confirm her address because my pirate ship was coming up with a different city. So I talked to her and she said she just had gotten home from spending three weeks with you. That's so awesome. Um, <laughs> so Penny, no, the kittens haven't seen the spider on my hand, but I will make sure since you're bringing it up that they get to see it. <laughs> so um, this one is from Jennifer Jones. You guys look at this pretty card. I feel like this was a kit class card or like a kit card. Um, so Jennifer recently promoted his silver on my team, which was awesome. And so she sent me a little thank you note. And also, Jennifer, I have your silver tiara. Sorry, I didn't want to ruin the surprise. But whenever I have a silver promote, like so somebody on my team promotes the silver, I send them a silver tiara. So I have different gifts that I send my team when they qualify, when they promote to Bronze Elite, when they hit Silver, and then when they promote to Silver Elite. I've got special little gifts for everybody. So Jennifer, yours is in the mail. It left today. So thank you for the thank you card. Uh, this one is from Susan Warmly. Oh man, you guys, look at it. She made it purple for me too. I love it. So it says, thanks a million. And then she did the masks on the back here um, with some purple ink. Thanks a million, you guys. I'm going to read it. I hope you don't mind, Susan. It says, thank you for creating the Autumn Creative Escape. What an awesome place to create, share, and inspire all while making some great new friends. It was an amazing experience. Uh, this was Susan's first time coming up to the hive and I hope that she comes back again to another event. I would love you to come back, Susan. You were a doll. Uh, then we have here this card. Oh my god, I gotta show you guys this card. So this one is a little bit of a fun. I think this is Vicky. Nope, it's um, Anne. Oh, Andy Aquisto. Uh, Anne. So Anne sent my mom a card too. And my mom and I both were like commenting at how pretty Anne's writing is. So you guys, this is the purplicious card she sent me. And then when you open up, it's got the nice fold like that. And that's always a nice fun fold. We did that for a fun fold last year, I think, one of the classes. So let me just read this to you guys. So I hope I don't make you blush, Anne. I'm so grateful for all you do for the event. Um, but always, my day was amazing because of you and your organization of everything that goes into making the day. Thinking about what all goes into the day is overwhelming. Your energy and amazing personality is phenomenal, and I'm so glad you are my stamping friend. Thank you so much, and want and and wait for the next Anne. So you guys. I love it. So I'm going to stick that as a post-it note. So I'm going to set that right in front of me. So thank you for the beautiful card, Anne. So just a little note, you guys, that we put all of our love and attention into the escape for you guys when you attend. This one is from Kim Hampton. So Kim is doing the Radically Retro Swap with uh, my group of gals. And so she sent me a little card in with her swap cards. And so, and she said, thanks for coordinating the swap. And now I have a birthday card to use. Yay. And then this one is from Pauline. 
and says, thank you for your patience. I love it. I'm working on the second set of swaps for this. So Pauline Driscoll, uh, seriously grateful for you. And so we've got a pretty little pink and black card. I love the little flowers on it. So Pauline's working on her retro swap cards. And look at that. She even has busy bee paper. I love it. So thank you for the card, Pauline. And this is just a note. And this is from Naomi. We're all Naomi came to the escape as well. And it says in here, thanks so much for the fun time at the escape. She can't make the next one, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, we will be thinking of her. This is you need to take some of that countryside um, in DSP and then Navy and then the countryside blossoms folder. This one is from Jean Maxwell. Um, Jean is also doing the radically retro swap with me. And so when you open it up, You've got the guy that goes this way. Now you guys got to read this. I got to read this to you. I haven't seen one like this quite like this. So it says, do me a favor. I couldn't think of anything to write. So please pretend that you're reading something really touching. Maybe even wipe away a tear and then look at me and say, that was so beautiful. I didn't know you could write like that. Then if anyone asks to see the card, refuse and tell them it was just too personal. Thanks. I owe you one. Let this card live another day. Remove this note, pick a friend and send it on its way. So if you guys want to see this, just take a screenshot of it right now. And you can always um, case this idea um, for your own insides of your cards. And so thank you for that, Jean. That made my day. I love that, that little saying. Now these are from Miss Mary Sykes. So Mary is also part of the Radically Retro Swap. And she sent me two cards here to share. Um, and this one is her swap card, which I'll end up sharing with you guys um, with the retro swap when we do, when we finish it. And then this one was, um, she she reread the parameters. So it was supposed to be, you guys. And Mary, I felt bad when you said that you, re, you made all of your cards over. Oh, take a deep breath. So you guys, the Radically Retro Swap is using all retired Stampin' Up! product. Nothing current. And so she used a current mask. And I guess if I would have been me, Miss Mary, I would have called me myself, like Chris, you know, Mary call Christine and say, can I ask for a pardon <laughs> instead of having to remake all my cards? And um, I would have probably given you a pardon because I would hate for you to go through all the work. But now she has, she says now she has all of her Christmas cards done. So, you know, a blessing in disguise. And so this one is from Miss Mary Sykes. <laughs> so you guys, happiest Christmas wishes. And I love how she did the mask in the back. All oh, that's heat embossed too. You can see it's really, really cool. So that is from Mary and then this one also is from Mary so very pretty nice Christmas cards um, so and your cello bags are fine like there isn't a rule that it had to be stamping up ones it just said it has to be in a clear envelope and so that works no problem all right these this one is from I love this this die here you guys I'll show it to you in a second this is from Tammy DeWitt Tammy also did the radically retro so you guys when I host the swaps um, usually people send me a card in it. So that's how I'm getting all these beautiful cards. So this is that patchwork dies, which just came back in you guys. It was out of stock until like last week, Monday. So about a week it's been back now. And so she die cut and then she kind of pieced them together and then um, embossed them with, the, I think it's the cane weave embossing folder. So this is from Tammy DeWitt. Um, perfect. And she enjoys the YouTube videos. Yay. <laughs> so, all right. And oh, there's the inside so you guys can see that. You are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days. I love it. And she embossed the envelope flap, you guys. So it all kind of like ties together. Really cool. All right. This one is from Jackie Weber. Jackie's also part of the retro swap group that we're hosting. So you guys, if you're doing the retro swap, uh, just know that those swaps are due to me on Saturday. <laughs> all 200 and, or 124 cards are due. Um, so this one is a little... Um, it says for you and it's got two little tags here and then the back one has that and she's got a little pin it looks so adorable she's got like a lattice on the side here and then you see how she wrote her inside here she did five groups you guys so she made five times 24 which is what 117 different cards or 117 cards five different designs and so I'm excited to see um, everything that everybody sends in it's gonna be amazing this one is from Miss Carol Alanis, you guys. She used the All About Item, All About Autumn. She is part of a, my customer swap group, and she did the Radically Retro Swap group. But you can see here she's got lots of layers going on with the All About Autumn leaves and then um, lots of shimmer. So this is for the customer swap she did. And yeah, 
And she, what Carol does for me is she writes on a separate one and then glues in one so I can use it. And then I can always save her note <laughs> every month. I save her note and I put it up on my shelf up here. So I've got a collection of love notes from Carol. Awesome. All right. So that one's from Carol Alanis. Whew, you guys. Okay, so we made it through the Happy Mail. Very good. Very good. That's good. Next, I want to just share with you really quick, you guys. Kelly did the paper pumpkin on Monday night. I hope you guys got to catch some of that. And you can see these. Okay, I she kept thinking they were flowers, but they are actually pumpkins and squash. And so very pretty, you guys. Um, I do have two of these left. And you, know, you can't see them behind me because I actually have them sitting over on the counter over there. But I have two of these beautiful paper pumpkins left in case anybody is still looking for a September paper pumpkin. And um, I'm going to roll through, give me guys like just two more minutes. I'm going to show you what we've got for upcoming classes um, and letting you know that the sooner you sign up, the better. <laughs> I plan to do a showcase probably tomorrow afternoon, if not Saturday morning, of the cards that we have for October. And um, I just want to remind everybody, this is the Garden Walk. Uh, ink, paper, scissors that we have set up for later in October. I think I have about 15 spots left for this that I'm planning for. And that one is the one where you purchase it. It is not free with a class. You guys, we have about five left for the Wounded Warrior benefit. That benefit is on World Card Making Day. It is um, a, a donation. Hi, Dan Don. It is a donation of $30 plus shipping. Hi, Hildy. Um, and then if you want the bonus card, um, the bonus card is an extra $5 donation, and Judy Immel brought these. You guys were using that little truck, the trucking along truck, and we're going to have an American flag coming out the back of the truck, and it's going to be like on a flag card. Super cool. Um, it's all in our imaginations yet. Um, we don't have an actual one to show you at the moment, but um, we will have that for you on Tuesday to share with you. So uh, we're making 64 of those, and I think about 48 to 50 are already accounted for. So super cool. So again, these are the Wounded Warrior benefit cards. Uh, so I think we planned for 80 and we have about 73 or five signed up. So there aren't many left. Um, for those that are not local to me where you can't come in person to make them, you will get the mail to you completed, like done. You guys, just a reminder, these are what we're doing tonight in about five minutes. I'm thinking we'll get started on these. Um, but for ink, paper, scissors, I want to give you the heads up. We, um, we made it work. Thank goodness for about 20 people that have the ribbon combo pack at home that are willing to wait to get a second one from me um, or Diane, um, or they opted for a different ribbon actually, which worked out really nice. So it accommodated the 80 people that we've already kitted up this for. But I am gonna put it out here that if anybody else would like to sign up for this class, I have eight more kits that are on the standby. They're prepped, they're just not kitted, uh, but my deal is I do not have the ribbon. So I would ship your kits to you later in October. The ribbon becomes available October 23rd. The minute it becomes available, you would be the first one to get it on my order. And I would ship out your kits. I'll do two-day shipping. You'd have your kits before the end of October. Uh, I have eight left that I can do that way. So if anybody signs up for ink, paper, scissors with All About Autumn, um, just know you can. I just won't ship it until the ribbon becomes available in October. So, um, yeah, Debbie, isn't that cool? The idea with the flag, yeah, with the truck. I can't wait to show it to you guys. So, ink, paper, scissors, I would have eight available um, in case anybody wants to get it and have it sent to them later. Um, translucent florals, you guys, is coming up next Friday. I did switch the date. It was originally going to be Tuesday. Tuesday's going to be a Busy day here in the Hive. We're making the benefit cards and my mom is going to be here helping me kit up two or three classes. And so we, I had to move this. I couldn't do a class and help manage two different things. And so this class got moved to Friday, I think October 6th at 1 p.m. This is free with an order. It's the translucent florals class. I have availability for this class as well. I think kit it up. We have about five left, but I have the pieces to kit up easily 16 more in case you're like, oh man, I really want that class. I can probably make that happen. So um, don't hesitate to reach out. This one's free with an order um, only unless you're on my team, the Be Happy Stampers then you could pay for the class. Um, and this is our quarterly order-based class that we do once a quarter um, where it's free with an order. It can't be purchased unless you're on the team. Um, all right, Dawn Ablett's listening on the way from work. Yay, awesome. And then, hot off the press, you guys, this is what I worked on today. Um, I got the monthly class for October done. 
Um, and what means left is uh, Mary Bold and Bright is left. And so if Rose is listening, I'm not sure if she still is, but I have one card done. So I have three left to design for October and I am that's going to happen by tomorrow. So these are what we have for the monthly class for you guys. So this was a carryover from the escape. So for those that did the escape, you might recognize this one. This one got piecemealed in here. So that is our winter owls card. And then this one is featuring um, apple harvest. And open it up. You've got a little apple there. So we're going with the fall theme for the monthly class. So um, yay, pretty. Now I'm putting it out there right now for anybody. This will be talked about in the showcase as well. But I don't know if people have apple harvest for this background stamp. And you may choose to use something completely different. So for those that are getting this mailed from me, uh, just know I won't be making your bows unless you tell me you have Apple Harvest and plan to use this or you want the bow made. Okay, that's my deal. I'm giving you 12 inches of linen thread or a bow, but you have to tell me if you want the bow or not. Um, and then this one is the Hey Chuck, you guys. I have been having people asking me about the, the Hey Chuck. And I'm like, you know what? We might as well throw in a card. And you guys, it's a fun fold. And so it opens like that. And so we've got Hey Chuck. And again, if you don't have Hey Chuck or Apple Harvest, don't dismiss this class, you guys, because... If you have stamps at home, you could stamp anything else on that, that piece right there. And here, if you don't have Hey Chuck, you could put anything else on the circle. And you can put any other saying on there. And you could put anything else. So the, think of the layout, you guys. And then think, what do you have at home that could work? So hi, Becky. All right. So you guys, you guys are the first ones to see these. My mom and Chris Dudoranke are the only ones that have seen these so far. So, um, and then the last card I have to show you guys real quick is the Mary Bold and Bright. Again, as another carryover from the Escape. I have three more to design, and that's going to happen tomorrow. And this is the class that, um, what a spider, right? <laughs> this is the class that um, Rose and I do together. So, all right. So now you guys kind of... You guys got a little sneaky peeky of what's coming up on the showcase um, uh, for tomorrow. So, and an another side note, you guys, I did sell a couple more DSP samplers and I have two left and I still have paper shares available in case anybody still wants a paper share. So you guys, we're going to say goodbye. Say goodbye to these guys because they are obnoxious. Um, I can barely handle them on my fingers in an evening. And so that's about all I'm going to do for you guys to see those. So we're going to start working on these cards, you guys. And... We have Halloween amongst us. So um, we are going to do them in an order. So people really liked this one. They liked this one. And um, they liked that one. I don't know. This one's okay. By the time I got to this, one was the last card. You guys, I was running out of DSP because we used one here, two here, two here. And the skeletons are the DSP. So we really had to go to well, not a DSP. So uh, we're going to start with this one. And we are going to go in this order like that. Um, you look so Halloween. I'm trying, you guys. We're trying to be festive, right? All right, so we're going to put these guys there, and I don't know what order they are here, but it's not that one, and it must be a white one, so it's um, that one. Okay, but you guys, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do all of our die cutting in one fall swoop. Um, so be careful opening your bits and parts are in here, you guys, but we're going to pull out a skeleton out of that one. That'll be the first one. We're going to do all of our die cutting right off the bat. Haha, <laughs> get it? Haha, <laughs> a bat. Um, I have my first grandson, Noah James, was born. Oh, awesome. Congratulations, new grandma, Mary Jean. Are you going to go by Grammy or Nana or Grammy? Like, there's so many different um, sayings that people have. My mom is, is grandma, <laughs> but on one side and then Nana on the other side. All right. So we're going to set that like that. We're going to just leave these like this. I'm trying not to lose any bits and parts. And this one has a cat. So let's grab. Oh, so just putting it out there that my favorite, um, cat was not the red one. And so a couple people that got this red cat potentially got an extra dog, but um, I won't use it. But um, I did, you know, the general consensus is that people really liked the white skeletons the best. Um, but that sheet, you guys, the full sheet has all different oranges and whites of the skeletons. And um, it, it was like one skeleton went on one card and then the other half of the skeletons went on the other card. And then the dog got one on one card and the cat went on the other card. So it kind of got split up that way. So what we can do is we're just going to run these through the machine so that we have to pull the machine up three different times. We're just going to take care of business right away. And we're going to do our die cutting on these. And then we can be done with the machine right away. 
So we got him. And let's just grab, of course, I don't have, oh, we're gonna have purple tape. Here we go. Come on, little guy. There it is. So if you guys use a washi tape or some sort of a low-tack artist tape, that would be the best thing so it doesn't rip your paper at all. And our little dog will go here. So I was a little bit tardy, you guys, on writing the tutorials. I'll tell you, it has been um, a whirlwind since the escape. I went into the escape feeling, feeling really prepared and then during the escape, I was good. And then coming out of the escape, I was like, oh, I'm so behind on so many things that I didn't know what to do first. And thank goodness I have the amazing community of people around me to help support me. Because I, I always was a little crazy. So um, my, my mom was over today. We got October birthdays ready. And... Um, so those will be off ready in the mail. Right in the tutorials kind of took like a back seat approach. Oh, I guess I cut out the orange dog and we won't use the white one. Um, the tutorials kind of became like, oh man, I got to write. I, can I say that with the tutorials? Because you guys, it always feels like homework writing tutorials. <laughs> it really does. And so um, I should say I get to write tutorials, right? Because I'd rather be doing that than sitting in an office job nine to five. I get to write tutorials. Um, and at least I... I can type pretty fast. Uh, Gina was doing her class here uh, yesterday morning. And if you guys could hear in the background, the click, 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 I was typing like a mad lady writing the tutorial for this class right now, which I got emailed out to everybody then, I think, yesterday afternoon. So thank you for your patience on that. I think Sarah Merchant was the first one that reached out to me on Monday and said, have you sent that yet? <laughs> like, that's what, I, like, it wasn't exactly that way, but she's like, have you sent that yet? I'm like, oh, no, I have to write that yet. <laughs> so, all right, so we need him. And what you need, you don't need a lot for this card, you guys. Um, <laughs> you need some white ink if you want to and some black ink. Pretty, pretty much that's it. Um, you can see on here when I hold it up to the light, you can kind of see that the black has like this luminescence going on. And that's from a white ink pad shimmied over the top of the black. And you guys... I, I don't know if Rose did this for when she kid up, but we completely maximized using the insides of mats. So I'm, you got two bats in your kit here, and then you should have a hat, a shoe, a cane, a shoe, a white inside, like more than enough ribbon. You guys are gonna be like, wow, she was really nice to me. She gave me four inches of ribbon and instead of like three. <laughs> Because I'm like, well, because I get it. You need some fingers to hold. So all you're going to do with this is it. there's a little baby bow that comes with the die cutting. But I would, I think Anna would have like been so unhappy with me. It was a baby bow bow, like a quarter inch. And it's for here. So we opted not to use that little paper bow. And we gave everybody some ribbon. And you just make an overhand knot like this. And now he's got his own little like tie, like his little bow tie. So that's how you do that. You should have a little strip of white for your sentiment. And then you'll have this black hex, or it's a, not a hexagon, it's an octagon, it's eight sides. Um, it's actually die cut out of the middle of the mat, actually. So this got die cut out of here. And then this got embossed with painted textures, thanks to Rhonda, and then this with metal plate. And you guys will notice there's an orange piece here. Weren't you glad you took this class with me? Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. <laughs> there's my Count Dracula laugh. And then my little witch. Tee, 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 tee. All right. I did that at the bank yesterday and the lady, she laughed at me. She's like, you did you just do tee, hee, hee. And I'm like, I sure did. But you guys, this very last card, when we get to it, I will show you where that came from. Okay. So we totally maximize using our mats um, to cut out pieces that we needed. So we're going to burnish. Oh, Rose did that too. Perfect. All right. It's called paper conservationist at its finest. So we're going to set those off to the side and we are going to grab, I'm going to grab, because these are photopolymer stamps. I'm going to grab my piercing mat and we're going to grab some black ink here and we need happy Halloween. And I wonder where I put it. <laughs> um, happy Halloween. And then our dude is on the inside. Yes. Oh, and no bones about it. Okay. So we have a couple things. I have, I have the skeleton. So 
The skeleton fits better on this bigger E block. And then because it's the E block, I like to ink up upside down. I like to put the block down and then ink up upside down. And then I'm gonna grab a sheet of scratch paper to put underneath so that I don't get ink all over in case. And he's just hanging out here saying, hi, how's it going? How's the weather over there? And I totally got spotches. And so we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna try again and see if I can avoid doing that. All right, Sana, you have a good night's rest, okay? All right, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna try again. And we're gonna go like this on that side. And I'm gonna try not to get that same squishiness. It was right from his armpit area there. I must have pressed down a little bit too hard and it squished down and got him. So I'm gonna let that marinate. And I think I've got Happy Halloween sitting over on my table yet. I know where it is. It's, <laughs> I had them right here to my left, actually. So there, I went to go let him sit for a second. That's better, all right? And then we have no bones about it. You're a sweet friend. And we're gonna move this out of the way so we can see. And I'm gonna put that more to the left because our dude takes up a lot of space on the right. Boom. All right, so that's good. And then for this one, happy Halloween. And we're gonna put that, I don't know, maybe a half inch from the right hand side, like that, okay? So that's it for this one, for stamping. Now we get to do a little bit of coloring of our black here. So there's, you guys, I didn't even share with you the bundle. <laughs> oh, I usually do that. So, oh, and I didn't share with you too. I, this is the bundle promotion class that I do. So bag of bones, I'm missing my moon. I gotta add that when we get done die cutting. But these are what you get for the stamps and the dies. I did notice, I think that I saw it on low inventory yesterday, I think. Oh, maybe it's the DSP that's on low inventory. That could be. Um, but with the black, what you guys want to do, <sighs> so I used to use my white ink pad and put my dauber in my white ink pad, and I learned that's not good to do. Krista actually taught me. <laughs> she did. I'm like, I didn't know this until it was like a year ago that she told me that what you should do is take your white ink refill and put it on a block and then use your dauber on the block because otherwise what happens is you get all this nasty stuff in your white ink pad and it gets full of like junk like it's full of like sponge dauber parts okay and then if you accidentally get your dauber dirty like 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 this this black sometimes transfers to the white so she said why don't you just put it on a block and you dip in here and we're gonna be hovering over really really lightly on both of these. And so you kind of dip off a little bit here. I flipped it over to test it because right now that's super too much. Like I don't want it that much. So you gotta work off a little bit and then I go elsewhere. All right, and just test it out. This sponge dauber, after <laughs> 17 people did this yesterday, like that's how my dauber looks. And so I'm like, I'm gonna see once if it still works okay um, for this and see how it goes. Um, I'm going to practice on this one on the back though first just to make sure. Yeah, so what happens to your dauber when you start to get um, chunks like this, it's probably best to say it's final farewell goodbye and like put it in the garbage. Um, you're going to get lines. It's not going to be as smooth as you want it. You're going to get streaky lines. So if your daubers look like that, I would definitely think twice. I had a second dauber going around. Let me see if I have it over here. Yeah. We, we had two daubers going around. And this dauber, he actually, he's still good. So what you do, you just dip into your block here. 
and I was just testing that one. I wanted to see if it would work. Yeah, so that one's gonna be a lot softer. So you flip it over and you, I'm gonna try to zoom in so you guys can kind of see the magic happen, hopefully, of as I do it. So I need space here, okay. Uh, so last night somebody was working at it and they were like, it doesn't look like yours. And um, it all comes down, you guys, to how much pressure you put on it. You want to catch, you can see there, you want to catch where the, the bump ups are, but you don't want to go into the divot area, right? And if you need more, dip back in, but go off the paper a little bit. The lightest of touches of your hand, like I'm hardly touching the sponge dauber to it, and it just is accenting it and making it look spooky. Okay. I'm good with that one. Now let's show you how it looks with the metal plate. Super cool, right? You hardly need any ink. And again, I would flip it over and make sure you're good before going for it on the, the area where, okay. Just a very light touch. You can see that it starts to illuminate it. This white ink on any dark paper like this, super cool. Like navy is another one. If you're doing wintry scenes, it's so cool to do this white over navy, like on snowflakes. Like imagine if you had snowflakes embossed. Okay, now I'm starting to see that there's no ink in there. So I'm going back, I'm just going back in the block here, grabbing ink and start off. Isn't that cool? Uh, so Penny says she takes a regular sponge. Oh, and cuts it. Yeah, that works too. There we go. And Stampin' Up! used to sell sponges. They don't anymore. Um, they use, they have daubers and they have blending brushes, but this would be too hard to do with a blending brush. So definitely the dauber works. All right. So it gives it that cool look of like a ghostly look. All right, that's it for that one. We are gonna need that later for another card though. So, all right, that's done. Now I think we're ready to assemble, you guys. So. Do, do, do this over on the left or on the right. I just cut it. I flagged it at an angle like that. That's it. Perfect. Then what we can do is we're going to glue this. We can glue this and we can glue this. So we got three things that we can glue. All right. And that is the back. All right. So we got that one, that, and that one. So that metal plate was super cool. That was part of, I believe, the motorcycle set from last year and that carried over into the annual catalog all right so there's the outside this goes on here like that and then let's just pop this in the inside like that now, you could definitely, if you like the double matting, put a black mat and then the white mat. That would look cool too. This just gets popped up with dimensionals. This class is the perfect class to pull out your black dimensionals, you guys. Um, they kind of hide behind. You don't see them with the black behind. All right, and then this is going to go right over the, the octagon hole here. And I'm looking at my pattern and I see that there's a lot of blank space there, which will work out because my label kind of covers that little section up. So I'm gonna do that. Now this should center over the top. So depending, your hole is generally in the center, but it might be a little bit crooked and that's okay because once you put this on here, then it covers up the whole hole. And I'm gonna go up just a little bit higher, something like that and get it straight, right? there okay then for this this is where <laughs> I'm pulling out my silicone mat and we're gonna put our what I would do because I didn't want to see the label between his legs okay so to me that looked not as good but if you want the easy street easy button push the button and just put the label down like that I didn't like that as much. I wanted it to look a little cleaner. So what I'm doing is putting a little bit of glue, some um, knee glue here. We got some elbow grease. We got some knee grease going on here. 
and I put a little glue by his knee and the corner of this, it lines up with his hip and then it lines up with his shoe. His shoe. So it's something like that, okay? So that's where that goes. All right, so that's pretty much set there. Then what you do is you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut that little corner off. And now you're gonna just use his leg as a guide and you're gonna wedge out this label part so that you don't see it in the inside here. And it's easier to do that when you have that kind of glued as a guide. All right, there, that's set then. Now for this though, I think I'm gonna pull back out white dimensionals though, because my label is white. And we're gonna pop up the label and we're gonna pop up our dude. The dude though, I think we'll use black dimensionals and depends what you wanna do. You could cut, cut some of these small ones in half too and then they might fit better up here where his hand is and then right kind of where his arm is and then we could use by his pelvic area right there and then right by his knee. All right, so that's what we got going on for dimensionals. And then this is just going to pop up right on to the octagon on the front of the card. And can, I like the black dimensionals because you can see the paper isn't there or when the paper is there or when it's there. All right, so then this is going to get set on here about like that. All right, that's that. Then what you can do is grab your hat. Oh, Marsha had shoulder surgery. I hope that you heal up really nice and you get back into the swing of things soon. Here are his shoes. So we're gonna Stella these before we glue them on. Oops, that was upside down. And so just put a little Stella, make him have shiny black shoes and a shiny black top hat and a shiny cane. You guys, you could Stella up his body too. Make him go like a luminescing. All right, and then what I would do is grab a black dimensional and his hat's gonna go here. So what I'll do is just put a dimensional right there. And actually we need two of them because the octagon was popped up and he was popped up. So to get the hat to be the right height for him, we're gonna do that, but then also a little dot of glue right by his head and a dot of glue in his hand. And you're gonna have to put a little bit of glue for where his shoes are gonna go. All right, and then he's got this top hat going on. Hi, Jeanette watching from Victoria, Australia. I love it. Thank you so much. So we're gonna put a little shoe on, right like that. And then this little shoe can go on his other foot, like that. So you guys, there was, <clears throat> there was one skeleton that was missing his left foot in the designer series paper. And my in-person people got all of the missing foot skeletons because we could talk about how in in class the shoe goes over it and you would never know that he was missing his left foot <laughs> so all right so there's that and then we've got a glue dot that we need right here and that's going to go right where his neck is and you're going to take your little bow tie Kind of pop that right into there. Grab your, well, I wanted my ribbon scissors because that would work so much better, but I don't see it. <laughs> um, hmm, 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 hmm. All right, hang on. I don't know if I see it on the corner. Sometimes my mom, I'm not blaming my mom, you guys, so don't tell it, don't, I'm not blaming her, but sometimes she uses the ribbon scissors here to cut, so I'm just grabbing a brand new one, and it should cut this really nicely. Okay, and there's this side. There. I know, right? Extra little scraps, do with them what you guys want. All right, so there's that dude. 
Okay, you guys, just like that, we got one card done. Don't lose your bats, though. I had them sitting here. And we're gonna put two little bats flying up over here, just like that. So that was a nice, easy card, I think. And again, you guys, there's different oranges that you'll have for this one. I know, <laughs> Lord, <laughs> it does. It felt like a lot of ribbon for especially um, how much little you use here, but I did, and I've been told that I'm very fortunate that I have nimble little fingers. My mom says to me, appreciate them while you have them because they don't stay like that forever. And so I know that when I was using three inches of ribbon to do that, and it was like kind of hard to, to do it, I'm like, Ugh, ah, it would be nicer to give four inches of ribbon. So I know it seemed like a lot. And at home, you guys, you could you could definitely maybe get by with half and use the other part for something else. But I didn't want to be mean <laughs> and give you too little ribbon and make you struggle, right? We don't need a struggle bus, right? So there you go. So there's our first card ready to go. All right, we're going to keep rolling into the next card. I want to do this one next, which is our plaid one. You guys, I did go grab my binder of DSP. Um, when I got up the last time. Um, yes, and there's nothing better than a brand new pair of snips. That's, that cut, that's so awesome. I don't know if you guys heard the crinkling. I was taking it out of the packaging. So this is called Them Bones. So it's right here, I think. So this is the different, um, different designer paper. So we use this one, that one, all of this got used. We use this one, this one, and that one. So I have no idea how, but I ended up, <laughs> my square got glued crooked. So you guys, this is the DSP sampler that I have left. It's, um, it's from the Holiday Mini Catalog. I have two left for purchase. You get all the white sheets and then the color swatches ready to glue down. And it's a great reference tool. So still have two of those available in case anybody's curious. Let me know if you have questions. All right, so this one is what we're gonna do next. And I believe it is the white one down. No, it's a vanilla, this guy. All right, so there's that. And you guys, it's Cajun Craze. And you'll have three gems in here. It's either two bats and a ghost or two ghosts and a bat. But you should have three of them up there. And then this is that, my favorite pattern out of the whole pack of paper is this one, the plaid one. And if you look at it, we were smart. And I'm calling this a shield. Um, thanks, Judy Sharp. Uh, that comes right out of the mat, right? So that's gonna cover it up so you won't even know. And you have about four inches of the, the check. So this one's vanilla and black, where the other one was white and black. And this one's bigger. And that's for your side angle ribbon. This is some glow in the dark paper. <laughs> I hear a few people have told me how cute the ghost is. So the ghost actually doesn't come from Bag of Bones, you guys. There's another Halloween set, and it's called Tricks and Treats. And that's where the little baby ghost that we're going to use on this card is. So on the inside, there's a little baby, and then it says Boo to You. So the Boo to You comes from here, but the ghost comes from here. And then on a future card, oh, this card we're going to use Trick or Treat. And then also this one, that this is where the shield comes from. And there's a candy corn in here and there's a package here. That treat package though is super cool. Let me show you what that makes. This was what we gave away for the attendance gift for everybody that did the escape. And so we got the little ghost on here, trick or treat. And then you cut two of them and it makes this little, um, little boxy thing. So let me put that back. had to go get the embossing powder stuff. So speaking of the escape, you guys, I got to put this out there because I just had somebody reach out to me yesterday. I had the box for somebody and I had one left and they opted to not get it. Um, and so if anybody was still wondering if they wanted to get the escape from me, I have one box left. So just reach out to me if you're interested. Um, it comes with all the make and takes. It comes with um, the um, nine, is there's 10 make and take packages. 
There's the attendance gift. Oops, I didn't mean to turn that on. Uh, and um, the goodie bag. And the goodie bag um, is all paper product shares, um, ribbon shares, and embellishment shares. So um, just a side note in case anybody was still like, oh, man, I wish I would have got that. All right, so you have a vellum circle, two and three ace punch used for that. This is another one that we're going to highlight with the white. Um, and you're gonna take the white and it's the metal plate. Now this is from the basic borders dies. So we're gonna color that soon. And then you have a piece of vanilla and a black. And that is for our inside here. So you could take, Laura Sullivan's gonna take it. Oh, I love it. Okay, just like that. Okay, Laura, it's yours. Yay, I'm so excited for you to get it. So I need to reach out to Kelly because I need to reprint the name for the name tag for your luggage tag. You get a luggage tag. Um, and um, I'm going to put Laura Sullivan on it for you. So Lisa Sharkey, um, it is gone. <laughs> so I saw, I honestly, I see Laura, I saw Laura um, comment that she'll take it first. So, um, but it is uh, for Laura, because she's on my team. Uh, it's $115 for my team members and then non-team members. I had uh, uh, just $10 more. Um, I like to give my team a little discount on things as I can. And I do that for my escapes. And like I do that for my product-based classes that they can get stuff and like my order-based classes they can get um, at a, like <clears throat> a different option. So yeah, so Laura, I've got it. So, but Lisa, if you are curious i am doing an escape and anybody else the winner creative escape is going to be here before we know it i'm planning for 124 people you guys i think that's where i'm going to cap it because anything over 124 i think is going to be mind-boggling and so if anybody wants information on that go to my website cardsbycrispy.com it's on january 11th you can find all the information so you guys I didn't zoom in because you saw me do it last time zoomed in and now you can see it <clears throat> thanks laura all right I think we still have um, some credit left from your, <clears throat> excuse me, used stamp sale stuff, which we can use. Um, all right, so the shield here, you guys. So this is black. Now, I was thinking about what can you do if you guys don't have, like, this whole setup, right? So we've got an embossy buddy here. There's, like, this is the addition, the, the heat tool addition kit or, like, the embossing additions toolkit. It comes with um, a tweezers, a brush, an embossing buddy. And then you need to have white embossing powder, a stamp, and then Versamark. Now, what happens if you don't have that? What I would do if I were you guys, I would grab some vanilla paper out. It'll look weird, I think, having vanilla next to a ghost. But you could cut a piece of vanilla and then stamp it black. And then you could take your ghost and, like, sponge black around him or orange around him to make him stand out. So that is what I was thinking you could do. <clears throat> we need here a uh, piercing mat. And what you do with the buddy and what you do with the buddy is it helps with if you have grease on your fingers, not grease, but oil from like your skins, your hair, um, eating food, whatever. Like it, like you get stuff on your hands and then it goes to the paper and then the, the embossing powder will stick. So what this does um, is it helps to eliminate that. It's like a little chalk pillow. All right, so you've got that. All right, I'm gonna set that off to the side. Then what heat embossing, you guys, if you wanna know how I got started stamping in 1999 or 2000, whatever, it was either like one of those two years, it was actually heat embossing. It won me over, it was so magical. And you need a pigment pad, like a gooey pigment pad. Um, water-based ink, like the classic stamp pads, just don't cut it because the embossing powder needs something to stick to. So this Versamark pad is perfect. You could also use a white craft pad. Oh, that would be something. You could use a white ink pad to stamp, but it's not going to be as crisp as that. Um, but with this one, we found that the Versamark was better than the white. For some reason, it was just the embossing powder was sticking better. And so what I really love about this as you can see so if you guys watch this um you can kind of see the ink transfer there you guys it's like all it got really black um oh that sounds good laura all right so nice steady keep that even you don't want to miss inking up a spot because otherwise the powder won't stick there all right then that fell off perfect 
And now you can use your tweezers. There's a fly, get away. Um, you can use the tweezers to pick it up and you pour the powder on it. And so what this is, they're, how I always explain is they're teeny tiny pieces of plastic pellets, really microscopic, including one complete with a cat fur right there. Let me put that in the garbage. All right. So what you do then is you pour that on and I try to get as much back into the, the jar as possible and then I kind of tap off. The brush is there to help you um, kind of get any, if there is any, I don't really see much. I'm just pretending what I would do with it. Like it really, there's no other little pieces there. This is magical, you guys. <laughs> it's just, it, this it had me at hello. <laughs> so I always said after I saw this, I was like, well, I really don't need another hobby. I really don't want to do this. I don't want to spend my money on anything else. I'm already doing this. And all I want is one stamp set for guys, one stamp set for girls, and a Christmas set. And that was what I said to myself back <laughs> over 22 years or three years ago. So this is the older heat tool, you guys. I'll be completely honest with you. Um, I used to work for the West Bend Company. Um, they made slow cookers, skillets, coffee urns. And uh, my story that I can relate to is I had a lady that called me and she said, you know, I bought um, a crock pot thing, uh, like a West Bend crock pot thing in 30 years ago. She's actually from Canada, the gal that called me. She's like, I bought it 30 years ago and it works great. But I figured after 30 years, it was going to die on me. So I bought a replacement. And because I needed to a little honey and everything you do. Yes. <laughs> and she said, because I was having a party, I wanted two of them going. It was like a slow cooker is what it was. I, I put them both out and I have been using them both now for about six months. And the one that I just bought died. And I'm like, oh. it's like, it is so typical because things are not built um, like they were 30 years ago. So this heat tool that I have, you guys, is old. I think I even bought it at a rummage sale, like a used stamp sale type thing. Um, and it's a workhorse and it's an older one from probably, I'd have to say it's probably 10 years old. Um, it's not the gray one that's new. The gray one that I have that's new, it sounds like it's dying on me and it's like, it doesn't like have oomph. And so I go back to this one because it works good. All right. So that's why I'm using this one. Um, so how, I, how do the tweezers work? So you, they look like this and I pinch them and they open like that. And so I like to hold it right here in the middle area. And the reason you want to use tweezers is because you guys, the, this is hot. It's actually, it's so hot that this is melted here. Somehow it must've stayed on at some point. I don't, I don't think I did this, but um, you want to be careful. You don't have embossing powder um, nearby. It'll blow off. So I'm going to try to do this so you guys can see it. So I see some people in class that go like this and I'm like, no, no, <laughs> it'll take you a lot longer. I find a spot and I work my way and I watch the transition of it from being powder to like a hard um, plastic kind of on here. So like, that's how you do that. And when it's done, it might be a little warm to the touch and all you have to do is just give it a second and then it's not, you'll know if you miss a spot because like it'll brush right off. But, um, uh, that embossing buddy leaves a little bit of a white powder on the, like a chalk on the black. And if you just take a, like a wet wipe or something really, really not damp and wet, but something just and brush over it, it'll help clear off some of that. Or this looks fine to me because it's like a spooky kind of card. Okay. So that is heat embossing, you guys. I hope that you guys see that and it worked okay. Um, so not to say that the new heat tools aren't good, but the one that I bought maybe five years ago, um, it just is not holding up its end of the bargain. <laughs> so, all right, we need to do a little bit of stamping in the inside. Not much, you guys, just a wee little bit. And what I want to do is set this here as a guide so that I don't stamp too far over. So let's get this like this. Let's just set that here. And we have boo to you. And that goes 
right about there. And then we have our Wee Widow Ghost up at the top. And I did do it at second strength because, hi, Amy. I feel like that was too dark and he looked burnt. And I do see like little, there's something right there that I want to get out of there. Okay, so let's try that again. Oh yeah, that's good. And then I liked him at second strength. He looks more ghostly. Uh, Mary Sickler said embossing is what got you hooked too. You know, I feel like that is a bunch of us. Um, how did the tweezers work? I was going to say, um, it's, oh, um, Cindy said it too. I saw somebody else had sent, said it earlier. Okay, so we're done with the little ghost, our Casper, the friendly ghost. And I think we're ready to put everything together. So let's flip this over. Well, let's just test this really quick. Oh, it actually goes to the black. So we're good there. So let's glue, 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 and do those three things. So a little bit of glue here, and then on our, bla our vanilla. Now this, I would highly suggest gluing from the top. Oops, I got a little close to the edge, but I'm okay. Um, if I would have glued the DSP, I might have put it through the middle area. This way I can set this on here and not risk getting glue there. But I have my silicone mat here and Rose taught me how to put that down underneath instead of paper. All right, so we're gonna just set that on here. And then this piece, hi Maria Gilbertson, this piece, I've got it set up so that the little peakies hit the black like that. All right, then glue and glue. Like that. And then this is back to our Cajun base. Right like that. Did I miss where you cut the that black inside piece? Um, it was cut and in, in your kit for you already. So it was, the shield comes from Tricks and Treats and it was already die cut out of there for everybody. All right, then what I'm gonna do is my circle. The circle, I'm using Terran tape and I'm gonna run it right through the middle here so that I don't risk getting glue on the outside. We t I think we did vellum recently and we talked about how you can see the adhesive through it and I've got this maybe right about here. I think I did that one in the middle, but I think I'm gonna do this one a hair above the equator. It's to the right more. It just touches the edge over here. And then we need tear and tape as well. The Rick Rack piece. Okay, um, so Laura, I don't know what Rick Rack means. <laughs> Is it the shield or are you talking about like the razor tooth side here when you're asking about um, the black inside piece? This is from the basic borders dies over here. So you guys, I put a little tear and tape and then what I'm gonna do is fold this in half and hi Brenda Loveless, listening while you're driving, multitasker, nice. All right, then flip that over and kind of sandwich it and then we're gonna grab a couple more dimensionals and they go on the back. So I use the black ones again. And then this goes, I'm not gonna press it down hard, but it goes something like this for the moment. And then we're gonna use white dimensionals for our Casper here, because he's our friendly ghost. All right, so I don't know what you're asking about but so this one's the basic borders dies this one's from tricks and treats the shield is from tricks and treats so how this is set up is that his little sheet fits really nicely in between here like that okay <coughs> excuse me all right the embossing powder made my nose very ticklish 
All right, so we're gonna do a ghost there, a ghost here, and then I have one more. You're welcome, Laura. Hopefully that helps. Uh, and then we're gonna do one little bat over here. All right, um, what can we Stella? I would not Stella over where the white is because that'll get blended weird, but hmm. I think you can Stella your glow-in-the-dark paper if you really want to. All right, that's all I'm gonna do. And we're grabbing my brand new scissors, which I hid back here until I, I <laughs> thank you, Randy. Um, using a brand new scissors. I'm gonna go like this on this one. So we're gonna test to see if it glows in the dark. All right, you guys ready to shut some lights off? Let's see, because it's dark outside. Let's see if this works. All right, you guys ready? I'm going dark. We're gonna see if it glows in the dark. I'm coming right back though, so don't worry. We're gonna see if it glows in the dark. Okay, one more light, guys. Oh, look at that! Oh, it's so cool! Oh, I love it! Oh my gosh, okay. Let's try this one. You guys, it's so cool. Oh, where are they? Where are they? There's that guy. My little bats aren't glowing in the dark, though. But look at that. It's so cool. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Okay. I'll turn the light back on. One moment, please. <laughs> All right. Okay. I don't think I've ever done that in a live before. <laughs> Hope I didn't mess anybody up or freak anybody out. <laughs> but it's so cool. All right. I love it. We got two done, you guys. We got two more um, cards to put together here. Um, they will be nice and nice. I don't know what happened to these little bats, though. They were not glowing in the dark, I saw. All right, so we got those done. We're going to go to our third card. <laughs> Ooh, ah, so spooky. <laughs> I love it. All right, pumpkin pie is our base for this guy. And this is the one that, that uses the cat. And so the dog is on the next card. All right, so we got our dog lovers. We got our cat lovers. All right, so... I gotta run. All right, Rose, we'll catch you later. So you got your little boat, bats and ghosts there. You got a uh, vanilla inside. Whew, we, oh, this one's gonna be super cool to do glow in the dark too. So you got a glow in the dark moon and a glow in the dark boo. You've got two pieces of grass. And um, <laughs> hi, Shirley Vanderbloomer. Um, I'm working on a total for you. Hi, Sherry Everett. Late, but better late than never. You guys. I'm going to tell you why you have grass like this in a second. So we'll go over that. You have one fence here. You have a deckled rectangle that's white, a deckled rectangle black. You have some very vanilla and black ribbon. The blacks needed to be in the light a few minutes to then glow. All right, Penny Powell, good to know. Good to know. All right, we have a little um, seam cover there. You have your DSPs, you guys. And I'm going to show you here. Like this mat was cut out of here. This was cut out of here. And your cane and your shoes and your um there's that stupid little bow it's the stupidest little bow ever i'm sorry it's cute but could you imagine if i made you guys glue that on weren't you much happier <laughs> i hope you were happier having the ribbon um and doing an overhand knot so all the bits and parts here we're going to burnish this first and we are going to do um, a little gluing so another one where you don't want to glue the back of that because you'll be sad it'll go through the middle here so we're definitely going to glue on the top of our mat like this okay and we're gonna prep this little guy with a little glue as well and then hold it up to the light for a few minutes so we'll get it because we're gonna do the glow in the dark here in a minute but I'm gonna leave that I'm just holding this up to the light to see if that helps we'll leave that set there um, so we're gonna put this one down first so make sure you're two sides like the top and the bottom and that side are good now i'm going to flip this around and put this on this side now don't don't pay attention to the middle some people's overlapped and some people's didn't don't worry about your seam in the middle here at all because this goes right over the top hi sandy wicklander this goes right over the top like that cool and then if you need to trim the edge now is your opportunity to do that. And just a little bit. And then we're gonna grab our tear and tape. 
round and round we go. All right, so that goes here. Now this would have been another one if you wanted to save ribbon. You could have avoided like an inch and a half there, but I'll wait in the wings with these. And I think he'll be good for now. We'll see if he works later. All right, so grab your ribbon and that goes on here like that. You got these waiting right here. Perfect. All right, then this is gonna just get glued right onto your card base. Like that. Flip this over. <laughs> it's over here. I'm like, where did I just put my card base? It is with that card. I'm like, it's gotta be around here somewhere. All right, so this is gonna go right on here. All right, so that's all we can do for this right now. Now, I guess what we'll do is we're gonna do some blending um, with this. And so we have from last night, we have a piece of blue and we have this. Phoebe from Friends better not see this cat. <laughs> She's singing about poor kitty. <laughs> oh, probably, I don't remember that one, but I'm most likely thinking she did. Hi, Julie Hillsman. Um, all right, so this, is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna take our blending brush and we're gonna be adding some blue ink. And, and we're just gonna keep working until we get it as dark as we want. And we're gonna make it spooky. Just keep adding ink and adding ink. And you don't have to go all the way to the bottom because the grass does cover it, but don't worry if you do go down that low and it gets covered up, it'll be okay. A smelly cat. <laughs> Is that what she's saying about? <laughs> all right, so like this would be acceptable. Like that would work, but I wanna do a little bit more. So I know last night a couple people made it like really midnight moonlight who there's a song about midnight moonlight too. All right, keep going. A little bit more. It's so cool that it transforms. So you guys, I did give you a white piece for this. The moon, the boo in the inside are more vanilla in tone, right? And the ribbon. I liked this. If this was vanilla and putting the blue ink over it, it would have looked weird, I think. Um, I think doing the um, white underneath makes it look crisper. That's it. <laughs> got it. All right. So now that I've got that pretty much what I want to do is I'm going to take an ink up a little and I'm going to do like swoosh. Ink up and just add, it's like s sky looking. I don't know. It really, it like seeing, so you can see it added a swoosh there and a swoosh there. It makes it look spookier to me. <laughs> Lori, you're not old. <laughs> All right. So I just didn't watch Friends a lot growing up. I think I, I don't remember. I mean, I do remember Friends, but I did not watch every episode. All right, so this is another one where we're gonna glue from the top, you guys. And I'm just trying to think of the rest of the song. There was a song, Midnight, Moonlight, da -na 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 -na, or something like that. <laughs> All right, so this, oh, I might've done that just a little bit down too far. So we're gonna scrape some of that away. All right, oops, there we go. So that's gonna go right in here, like that. Okay, so I will tell you guys, the grass didn't impress me. <laughs> oh, oh, it's not even in here. I can't even see it. Oh, I gotta figure out where I put the grass. Maybe the grass goes on the other one. Nope, I can't. I'll have to figure out where I have the grass. I don't see it in here. I know I'm... Interesting. There was, there's grass and it's like this long. It's only two inches long. 
and it was not long enough to fit end to end. So what I did is I gave everybody, so I gave Anna, it was like two inches and by one and three eighths. And what she did is she cut everybody's, they kind of, some of them marry up. Um, and what happens is when she cut them, everybody just got two pieces. And what we're gonna do is they kind of, what I did is I had them kind of meet in the middle here. Um, and then the boo will overlap, will like cover up the seam. So that's what I've got going on. But we will need to um, take and poke out these little bits here. Perfect, okay. So what I'm gonna do for the grass is I'm gonna glue a little bit on the bottom here. And we're gonna put this one on first. And I'm gonna kinda line them up just like that and then you'll never see the transition at all. So, and I'm not putting it all the way at the bottom but close to the bottom. So we're gonna put that right about here. And now what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of glue there and then marry it up right there. And you won't even see that seam really. And then I didn't put glue all the way at the top. Now. Oh, Emily Busca just said that Rose, she taught, Rose was talking about this. I should have done this in the beginning and I didn't, but I'm going to do it now because I just thought of it. So this was, this is Rose's tip, you guys. Um, what I'm going to do is stella this first. This is the top. So we're just putting a little bit of bedazzlies on here. And this is what Rose does. She grabs out her silicone mat and then she puts a little bit of glue on this. And she lets it dry for a hot second. So we're gonna let that dry for a lickety split second while I cut this. When you figure out where it comes from, can you let me know so I can put it on the PDF? Are you talking about the grass, Lisa Sharkey? The grass comes from the set. I, I'm just missing my dye. <laughs> I was like, where is my grass? Um, because I had it on the other day when I was cutting everybody's extra kits, but now I was looking in the dyes and I was like fabriclassed because I'm like, where is it? Because there's 31 dyes in here, you guys. There's 31 and it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and I'm missing the moon is 30 and my grass is 31. So it's like, where's my dye? <laughs> the grass comes from here, Lisa. So if that's what you're asking where the grass comes from, it comes from that dye set. I'm just blown away because it's, mine is not in there and it should be. So I just trimmed off that. And now what happens is this dried a little bit so it makes it tackier and then it won't smear all over. And so what I'm doing is just lifting up my grass a little bit here. My fence is gonna slip down in there very nicely. We're gonna use a little black dimensional on the cat's head and its bodice. And that's gonna go like this. Our boo is going to just get a little bit of liquid glue right like that. And that goes right over where the seam is. Very good. Our moon over Miami, I'm going to definitely use, uh, I guess, two little dimensions. Well, of, of course, I'm at the end. So we're going to use a schnibble side here, like that. And that goes up in the sky. Very nice. We've got two ghosts. You know what? I have a bat as well, but I think I'm just going to leave like two ghosts flying around and not use my other bat. I think everybody got two boat, two ghosts and a bat or two bats and a ghost. I think I'll save that because I'm good with the two like this. And then we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. I bet the person who gets your card will never know that it's so holy in the back like that. All right. Then we have to say a little prayer to find my grass. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be around you guys, right? All right, then this goes right here. Something like that. Cool. 
And then our inside. I guess I almost forgot we got to do an inside. I was so excited about the glow in the dark. All right, so on the inside here, we've got a cat and eat, shriek, and be scary. But a last night in class, people wanted happy Halloween. So we gave them what they wanted. And we put happy Halloween on here. We're gonna put it right there. And then a little pretty kitty cat of a skeleton. Can go right? That would be super cool. I guess I went like that. It looked like it would sit on there nicely. <laughs> so that's where we're gonna put it there. If you don't like it there, it could also go in the bottom corner. All right, I think we're done with the cat. We can glue this in. Get a metal detector, right? Oh man, it's, it's gotta be somewhere, right? It is in, it is in the set in the kettle. It is in the set in the kettle, yep. It sure is. It's just not in with my dies, you guys, sad face. All right, there we go. Hopefully it helped to watch the video how to put that together, you guys. So we've got one more to do and it's not tedious, it's tedious. There's lots of bits and parts, you guys. So you have, you had bats and ghosts on every other card. This one, um, we use some of the pebbled path in color dots because we use the blue ones, we use the copper clay ones already. We use the mauve ones. And so after this leaves yellow, and so we're gonna do a card yet with yellow. There's that. You guys, I tricked everybody with this. Um, Knight of Navy Ribbon. So you're like, well, how is that? Okay, I'll move this guy out. You guys go bring in the last card here. So on here though, it doesn't look navy, does it? Maybe a hint of navy, but that's okay. All right, so we'll burnish our edge here. Okay, vertical. So this one uses this DSP. Everybody was... Oh, now I see it. It's very skinny. Ha ha, yes. <laughs> very edge. Yep. So people thought this was upside down because the B looks really weird with the little hump on the bottom and the big hump on the top. And then the eek is like, right? But depending on what part of this designer paper you got, some people got the crypt. And it was super cool that they had a sky with the crypt. So I can't do that though. So I'm going to go back with that one. We have two more pieces of grass that look a little bit taller, like the um, lawn care guy did not come and cut the grass for these, but we'll show you how to make them short. How, we'll, we'll show you how to cut the grass tonight, you guys. And then this is for your bonjour. This is embossed with the Distress Tile Embossing Folder. So you can see that, and here's your DSP. And then you have your Sacrificial Lamb that we'll, we'll show you what to do with it momentarily. And then you have your, what we're calling a crypt or in the PDF, you guys, I called it the cemetery pieces because I didn't remember what it was called at the time. Oh, so, all right, let's get glue happy. This, you guys, this is our mat. You were like, well, what do I do with this? Well, you use it. So the first card that we did tonight, used the inside of this. And now what we're gonna be doing is using the mat. I promise you, it's okay. We're gonna just glue a little here and we're gonna glue a little there. That's what we got for glue. And the black, you just wanna see a little bit of orange on the left. So we're gonna do about an eighth inch showing. And I do see I have orange showing on the bottom here, just a hair. So we're actually gonna trim our mat. So this one goes right like this. And I'm doing the top and the right the same. And I can see that I need to trim off just a hair off the bottom. And so we're gonna grab this and do just a hair. Like that. Now I've got that centered very nicely. Okay, so you guys, that's the start of this, right? It looks like a skeleton at the moment. All right, and then you need your tear and tape. And you need two waiting in the wings. We're gonna flip this over, do this. And we're gonna get that ribbon down. Now it's so cool. It goes from being like bluish to being blackish. Like that. All right, so you definitely want that black underneath there. 
All right, then you've got that waiting in there and pick that off. And the gray piece goes down next. So that'll go here. And what I would do is because whenever I put um, paper over ribbon, glue isn't so good. I like to use tear and tape. So I'm gonna put that on the one side. Any part that rolls or hangs over, just roll it back. And then we're going to do liquid glue up here, here, and I think it's gonna reach right to there. So then this goes down next. You guys are gonna feel like a card surgeon when you're done with this one. All right. Yeah, so pretty, you guys. So we're using that ribbon on the Fun Folds class. All right, so there's that. I have a little bit that hangs over. We're just gonna take the scissors Trim that off. <clears throat> Perfect. We're making good progress. So then now this is ready to put onto the black base. So let's get glue. <laughs> Look at the back of this. It looks like a hot mess. There, we'll get all the glue down. And that goes right on here like that. Perfect. And then this one gets glue and this one gets popped up. And then they go right onto the front. So we'll grab a little liquid glue here. Oh man, haha, -ha. we gotta glue this first, hang on. <clears throat> so, <laughs> cart before the horse, <clears throat> excuse me. So this is going to go here and talked about cutting the grass because this is taller than this one by a little bit. So what we can do just to keep it easy, we're going to put some tear and tape just along the bottom here like that. And any part, just roll it back. We're going to find a spot where they actually perfect. But this one right here has a little knicker, so we're just gonna roll that off. And this is where you can have your grass be as tall as you want it. So just maybe something like that. And then we're going to put a little bit of glue right on that over part. And then this is going to marry up. You can't even see. The difference, like, because the grass dye is only this wide, you guys, so it would never have worked. <clears throat> and then our crypt now will be able to sneak underneath the grass because I didn't put adhesive up at the top of it. So that's going to go here like that. And then this kind of sneaks right in there as well. Perfect. And then you can take your scissors and snip off the, uh, the sides and then follow the paper as a guide and just trim that off and now you have shorter grass. So I kept it simple for when Anna was die cutting the grass that they were just this, all the same measurements and then if you want taller grass, you could have taller grass. Our little dude here, we are going to pop him up as well with some dimensionals and he <laughs> he's got a little area here so let's cut a couple more of these in half the little babies in half and we have his little hand we'll have it by his foot and then we will grab these and have his little elbow popped up you wouldn't have to pop all of these but I'm like oh, I might as well do it all right, you guys can see here we're on the final countdowns. <laughs> Looks funny from the back. All right, so then he's just hanging out here saying, hey guys, I'm awake. I've been sleeping for a very long time. 
And then we have a roofers, and we're gonna pop his head up and his body. And he's hanging out with his owner, like right there. Cool. And then all of this gets popped up and put on the card front. Didn't that come together, lickety-split? You guys probably thought I saved the hardest one for last. And it probably was the most intimidating one when you saw all these pieces. Like, this is your gourmet card when it comes to the number of pieces that were in here. Oh, I forgot to stand my bats. Hang on. Let's take that dimensional off. <laughs> Rose to the rescue. All right. Forgot to stamp the bats, you guys. And <laughs> I'll be honest with you, when I designed the card... I did not stamp the bats until it was all said and done and put together too. I stamped them like with a dimensional there and I'm like, it's okay. So it was an afterthought. So there are bats in this set right here, the tricks and treats. So <laughs> almost forgot the bats, you guys. So they are going to get stamped and you just do a good job and you're fine. So this is like, run about there gotta have some bats flying around right all right as long as i've got that oh that came off so nice i'm gonna put that right back and then this i want to see some bones on the left a little bit a little gray on the right saved by the bell all right then we need bonjour which is this little guy right here There's that, and then this one has no bones about it, I bet. No, it had, oh, we did, Happy Halloween. Charlene said, what is a knicker? <laughs> it's a made up word. I don't remember what context I used it in, Catherine. <laughs> it's got, oh, knicker. Um, it was like a little hangy side thing. Like the grass, when it got die cut, it had like, uh, it went down and then it came up slightly and went down. I didn't like the knicker on the side, so I cut it off. So we're gonna have a dog down yonder here. And then Charlene said that she, cards are not something, that Halloween cards aren't, but these are awesome. Good. I think that's why I had so many people sign up for this class, you guys. I, I was blown away. All right, we're gonna let that marinate for a hot second. And then we are just going to fussy or rough cut this little guy out and says a bonjour and like that so this has marinated we're good to go put that right there flip this over we're gonna glue this onto the inside and boom all right then we have our little bonjour, and because we have the end of our dimensionals, this will work out good. Oh, I just threw it away. <laughs> I think I just threw it away. Did I not? <laughs> I might have. I did. It's in the garbage. I took all my little scraps, you guys. I was being efficient, and that's what happens. Haste makes waste. We're going to cut two little side strips here. Put them on. And actually, the one side doesn't need it. The bone side doesn't need it. And we're actually just gonna do, oh, and then it's stuck to my fingernail, or my finger. So we're gonna only do on the right side because the basic gray cemetery piece is already popped up. So then this hangs out right here. There. And if you don't have bonjour, if you have any little baby sentiments, like hello would fit there. Like it's a guy just saying hi. All right. I think we did really good, you guys. I bet you when we first started making cards at 640, you thought, how is she going to make four cards in an hour? And really, it was an hour and 10 minutes. We got all four cards made. Lickety split. I want a little bit more glue underneath there to hold that. Now we're not done. We're close. Um, the, yeah, you guys, the bone set is so fun. Um, so we're going to put a, the big gray dot there. The medium one will go down there. And the wee widow one will go right there. And you can Stella your dude. 
or do that, whatever it may be, and your dog at. Boom. You could do your, oh yes, definitely stello that up. I do like it with a little bit shorter grass. And then his foot is just kind of hanging out. So I think what I'm gonna do is bend his leg back slightly and just put a little dally, a little dot of glue right there. A little dot will do ya. A little dab will do ya. All right. Whew, you guys, that was good. Was that very good for you? All right, that was good for me. I didn't do anything with my envelopes and that's okay. <laughs> I like this card a lot. There was so much that went into it. This was the last card. Well, no, this was the last card that was designed was actually this one. The first card that was designed was this one, I think. This one was third, second, this was third, and then that one was last. But that was like the order that they were made. So they were fun to design. Not fun folds, but they were definitely fun. Oh, Mary, you guys can case anything. Of course, I am not like that. You guys, if you see my cards and you wanna make them, uh, go for it. I am flattered. So my mom always taught me that copying is the most sincere form of flattery. So case away, case it exactly or case it and change it up however you want it to be. I'm okay with whatever you want. Um, and honestly, when it comes to giving credit, you can say, I found this girl on um, YouTube and she made this card and you don't even have to remember my name. I will not take offense to it whatsoever. I don't have um, time to worry about that at all, you guys. I'm just happy that you're casing my cards, right? That's what it's all about. Like make them, <laughs> just know that, um, just keep keep the love going with them, right? <laughs> so um, what's your favorite one, you guys? I always like to know that. Give me that information while I clean up my stamps really quick and we'll get them cleaned. This is the end of the class, you guys. We had this class on Saturday with two people. I had 17 and two people couldn't make it. So almost 19 last night. And then, um, but their friends took the kits with them. So it was still 19 last night. And then you guys was like 60 some. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, and now I can clean up all the stamps and we're gonna move on from Halloween for the moment. There is a fun folds card that we're doing for Halloween. You guys, at the moment, I am not taking any more registrations for fun folds. I have to really make sure I didn't miss signing anybody up. I missed signing up a couple people, then we figured it out last night, and I don't wanna miss anybody and then not have kits left for them. So at the moment, if you've already reached out to me and I've already confirmed that, um, that you're good to go, or I said to you that we're seeing if we have more those people that have already reached out to me, but anybody else that pays for the class or wants to register, I'm gonna ask you to use the money for a different class or just have you hold off until I can actually see where I'm at. So we we went from, you guys, I don't know if you watched Kelly yesterday, we actually went from 86 and we're making 96 now. So, um, and one of them is mine. I am not gonna do that self to, to myself again where I don't um, make a kit for myself for class. A seal loves them all, especially the bonjour. I love it. So very cool. You guys, I'll be honest with you. I did not use any of the specific dyes that cut out the bones like this. Um, I attempted it and it's a pain in the butt, <laughs> just to be honest with you. I started to do it um, and I realized that I wanted vanilla instead of white because the white was too white. Um, bones are more of an ivory color to me. So um, it's a lot of work to stamp them and then fussy cut them all, not fussy cut, but die cut them all out. And so I have all this little bag here of started stuff. <laughs> so, all right, we're gonna put these, what are you guys telling me here? You love them all. Yay, Susan, I like it. Um, Charlene says her favorite is the plaid. You know, that was last night too. A lot of people liked the plaid one as well. So that's good. All right, so we got that one there. And I do like him, he is nice. He's very nice. Our little skeleton dude. And there we go. All my stamps. You know, I never lose stamps. I only lose dies, it seems. All right. So there we go. That's put away. I love it. Okay. So we're going to take a minute now and do a little the boo card and the ghost card is what Shirley said. Awesome. Shirley, we're going to talk. I know you want a one mom, a one year paper pumpkin. And so I got to tally that up and let you know how much it is. 
Um, you guys, we're gonna do a random number generator here really quick. Let's see to my hot mess of paper. Um, we're gonna unplug this. You guys, we had 24 people. You guys, this is my purplicious book of class signups. It's the most important thing is just to get in the book. It doesn't matter if you're new to me. It doesn't matter how you get your name in the book. If it's texting, emailing, calling, Facebook messaging me. <laughs> if I have your name in the book, you're most likely going to get kids. <laughs> um, 24, we said. So, da -da -da, drum roll, you guys. All right, winner, winner. The top hat guy is your favorite. Yay, Vicky. I'm so happy you voted for this dude right here. Yay. That's so exciting. I love it. All right, we're going to hit generate and see who our door prize winner is. Uh, da, 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 da. winner, winner, chicken dinner is, I gotta hit generate. Oh, wait, did I just do that twice? Okay, just scratch that, you guys. I was looking up at the camera. We're gonna start over. I don't know what the first two numbers were. You might have seen them. You don't know whose numbers are. We're starting over. I feel like I looked up at the camera up here while I did that, and I hit it twice. So we're gonna start over. We're gonna put in 24 here, and we're gonna pick, generate. I'm watching it now like a hawk. Number 16, okay. Number 16 is Laura Sullivan. Okay, Laura, yay, it's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. You get a door prize, but it's not your birthday. <laughs> All right, then you guys, we have here a list. Oh, a list, a list here. We have this door prize to do as well. And you guys, I wanna share with you one other quick thing here. Um, uh, Miss Ellen Brover from Florida sent me this. No hive. It should be without a string of lights. And so Ellen sent me these little battery operated LED string B lights. Yay. And she said she saw this and felt like making it for me. And so she made me a bee bag with like the jewels on it. So I love it. Yay. Um, Mary ordered candy bones for treat bags. I love it. Very good. Um, that's why you needed the little magnet pen. And so speaking of that, Susan, I want to share your gifts real quick too that you gave me. So you guys, Susan warmly was here and she also gave me some gifts. We'll do one more drawing really quick, but I want to share with you. This is from Susan. She just said that's why I needed the, mini, the magnet pen. And she's so true. I'll show you what she's talking about. So Susan made me this. And it says, thanks for lighting the way. And it has um, it has a little tea light candle in here. Oh, you can kind of see. Oh, as long as we have the glow in the dark going on, you guys, entertain me for one more moment here. Hang on. Hang on. There it is. So you can see that going. And then, see, oh, the bats are glowing now. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's our boo. There's our ghost. And that one had none. So yay. All right. So let's put the lights. Oh, and there's that again. So you guys can see that. Very cool. Awesome. All right. Lights on for safety. All right. Lights on. Lights on. Lights on. And one more. Okay. So this is from Susan Warmly. And... She also made me this beautiful card right here. It says celebrate and thank you for all you do. Very pretty. And there's wait, there's more. Um, Burt's Bees reviving sheet mask with pineapple. And look how she decorated this, you guys. Isn't that so pretty with a matching card? And then um, Scrubby e it easily removes paint, oil, dirt, grease, and more. I need to put that right by the sink now. And then here's the little pan she's talking about. Oh, it's for your dyes. Your dyes stick in here. So I wish my grass was sitting in here too now, but there's a little dye bag, I think. I think that there was, oh, there's one more thing. Susan sent me, and I don't know if you can see it. Not really. It's hanging from the middle of my bay window. She gave me a hanging bee. So um, it's very pretty. So Susan, thank you so much. All these beautiful gifts. I meant to share this um, a little bit ago, but it kept, it was sitting on the back counter here. So I'm gonna undo the light though, so it doesn't die on us. Um, so how do you get your name in the book is what um, Mary Sickler asked. So Mary, that's my class sign-up sheet. 
The way you get your name in the book is if you sign up to take classes with me. And the drawings that I do are based off of people who place orders with me. Or for like ink, paper, scissors, it includes everybody. So um, that's how you get your name in the book. Sign up to take classes with me. And um, that's how you do it. All right. So we're going to do one more thing here, you guys. So I had six people that made the Share, Create, Inspire card that was shared by Susan Corsello. So we're going to put six in here. And... I went backwards. <laughs> Hang on. There, that's what I meant to hit. So six. And drum roll. And winner, winner, chicken dinner is... Da, 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 da. I'm going to hit the word generate. Number four. Susan Warmly. Yay, Susan. You just won. Good job. Well done. Um, so Susan, who was... Well, I was just talking about. Susan is the one that gave me that whole bag full of gifts. And so she just won the prize, you guys. So... If you're curious what I'm talking about with this class is anybody who shared, oh, Anna was receiving happy mail from you guys. I love it. Very good. Anna's one of my helpers. Um, she got some happy mail. So we're going to Cards by Christine. And what you guys do, if you go to videos, not videos, um, more, and go to events. And you go to past event, which is down here. We're going to look for share, create, inspire right there. And what I did is I took everybody's name. So I went to the discussion. There's a post here that says share. And there's Jennifer's. And then Sherry Pyers, Hildy's, Jean's, Durrell's. And that was the card that I took out. I didn't put, that's not the, that was not the same layout, you guys. That is a book card, um, not following the, the template. So I didn't count that one, sorry to Patsy. Um, but then Susan was here. So everybody else, the other, all the six scales, they had the same layout. Um, that was not the card. So, um, so Susan won, yay, but that's so you guys can go back and see. So um, we usually get less than, um, 10 people that always share. So the odds of you guys winning for this drawing that I do are um, are higher. So yay. Okay. All right. We did it. So we did very good. Congrats to Susan Warmly and to Laura Sullivan. Yay, our lucky duck winners. So awesome sauce. You guys, again, I don't have any left of them bones. Um, and Fun Folds is on hold at the moment. Um, I will advise... If anybody wants to get on the waiting list, you're welcome to say, hey, I understand you don't have any kits left, but if you happen to have one left, I would be loving to get it. Um, I could, I will start a waiting list. I might have one or two, but that is all I would have if that. So um, the other thing is translucent florals, you guys. That class is next week, Friday. Uh, so that is, um, I have kits left of that. And then Monday night, you guys, is ink, paper, scissors with All About Autumn. All of the kits that I have that will include or have been confirmed that they're okay not getting ribbon or something else in exchange, all of those 80 are accounted for. And I have eight left that you would just have to wait until the ribbon comes in. Or if you pick out a different ribbon that is available for purchase right now, I could always swap out the ribbon and get you, I, I don't even swap it. I just want to order the other ribbon. Um, when it comes in, I would order you a different ribbon, but I can get the speckled dots yet. I can get the designer paper um, because I bought myself a couple extra packs to have in case I needed them for class. And I'd be willing to part with my paper because I have, think I've um, kitted up everything I need to kit. Like I was uncertain of how many translucent florals I needed to make. And so I was rather be safe than sorry. And so I think I'm good from that aspect. And I've already got the eight pieces already prepped and ready to kit up. So, um, so just so I have eight in case anybody's waiting or, um, in case anybody's interested in that. So, all right. Uh, and then the next thing on my docket, you guys, I am going to be working on Mary Bold and Bright to get those last three cards designed. And once they're designed, I will be scheduling a showcase and putting that on my radar to do either late tomorrow afternoon or Saturday morning. So, um, that's what's the plan. So, cause we're almost at the end of the, the month. Uh, so last day of the month is, uh, Saturday, you guys. So, um, awesome. Whew, you guys, the end of the Stampin' Up! year, end of the Stampin' Up! quarter, and end of the Stampin' Up! month is this Saturday. So, um, 
looking forward to that. <laughs> so, so we can start another year. Yay. Awesome. You guys, lots of sunshine, love and big hugs. You guys, you enjoy the rest of your Thursday night and enjoy the weekend ahead. Um, no matter what you do, make sure you enjoy it. Right. Um, and I guess I think that's it. You guys we will talk to you sometime in the near future when I have the showcase. So, all right. Love you a long time. I'll count to 10 just in case it ends out early. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six,